G'day, how you going? I've had my eye on the X100 series from Fuji, Fuji Film, and I'm starting to really like it. I first noticed it when uh, one of the street photographers that I like from Boston, Faisal Westcott, he's got one, and I really like it because it's it's got the 35 millimeter equivalent. I think it's 23 millimeters permanently attached, so you can't you can't change the lenses. It's got that retro look, and all the buttons at the top are all manual. They've made a modern day camera with a, an old school film look to it, and it's also got an aperture ring, so like old school. It seems like everyone's falling in love with this camera. Peter Forsgaard did a video on it recently. Uh, Mac Ranger did a whole ser uh, video on the whole series. I think he preferred the S model. Uh, my ex girlfriend. And her nerdy, her new boyfriend got bought one. So, what? Got me thinking though. I kind of do have one. <laughs> the EM10, the black one, it kind of looks like, you know, it's very retro. It's got buttons, the tactile buttons at the top. It kind of reminds me of the X100, the whole look of it, the compactness. And you know, chuck a chuck a pancake on there, and bang, you know, set it to seventeen millimeters, and there you go, you've got yourself a, an X one hundred. So it's close enough anyway. And then even better uh, to get more of that, you know, compact classic, you know, old school look. Chuck a seventeen millimeter one point eight on there. Then you've even got the manual focus clutch. I mean, really, I should buy one, but at the end of the day, you know, this the gas gets you. You know, you start, next thing you know, you've got 100 cameras. Now, the only thing, though, is that it's not a Fuji camera. It's an Olympus camera. Um, now, the one thing that the Fuji X100 has is it has all these film simulations. Now, if you don't know what film simulations are, they're just like, what Fuji, Fuji was renowned for its film, uh, types of different films. You had the, you had the Chrome, the Eterna, the Velvia, the Acros, all these different films that came out. So you'd buy the film and you'd buy that type of film and it'd give you that type of look. The X100, you can set all these different, you can set all these different film simulations. I was going back through Rob Trek's old catalogue and I noticed that he had a little uh, funny little tweak that um, to simulate Fuji's uh, film, um, he, ma he made a video, I'll put the link in, how to, how to get the Fuji simulation near enough on the Olympus by tweaking things in camera. So for instance, if you want to get the chrome look, the chrome film simulation, you would put it in muted mode. Um, white balance would be A plus one, G plus two. So you know what I mean. You you change the JPEG settings in in camera, and then you can get that uh, um, close enough look to that Fuji simulation. I mean that's all really. Um, I guess the X one hundred is doing is just playing around with the JPEG settings. All right, so setting it up is pretty easy. All you've got to do is you've got to go into your super control panel. And then in here, you need to, so for instance, if I want to do the classic Chrome Fuji simulation, so go to profile, put that on muted, and then you want white balance, A plus one, G plus two, RGB equals minus two, graduation equals normal, so leave it on normal and then the shadows is minus four so to get to that you've got to hit uh, function button two and then the shadow using the back wheel it's got to go down so one two three four and then okay so then you can see in the corner there, bottom right corner, there's a minus four for the shadows. Other things that I would do is I would put it in large super fine plus raw. So now what you can do is you can set that as a my set one. 
So if you go into my sets here and my set one, yes. So now that's set as my set one. I can now set that my set one into a button. In my case, I want to use the dial. So pick my set one and I want it in the art. So when you turn the top dial to art mode, it will then move, it'll have those settings. So for instance, if I move it to art mode, I auto art mode. You see how it says a little my set one there? So now if I go in, see how it's got A and then above it it's got my my one. So I because I've I've changed art mode to my set one. So art mode is no longer art mode. If I go in, there you go, see? It's kept everything muted, A plus one, G plus two. So for Acros then I go in again. I change that to, oh, so first I'll put it back to Aperture Priority. Across is Mono. Make sure everything else is back to Norton, back to zero. So Mono, Tone, Highlight minus three. So go here. All right, if you press OK, that resets it. So Highlight. Is minus three, one, two, three, and shadow is minus two, one, two, and graduation is auto. Now to get to graduation, it's not on here. I can't see it, so I think it's in the menu. They so go to picture mode. It tells you you're in monotone over there already. And here you can set everything here. It's the same thing. It's just that you're doing it through the menu. And there's the graduation. And what do they want? Graduation is auto. All right. And there you go. So that's across. And then obviously uh, chuck that into a my set. Two. I want to put that now into button dial and my set two. And I'll put it in the I auto one. None. So now, when I change to I uh, I auto, my set to art mode. My set one. So you can quickly change between your Fuji simulations using the button dials and the levers. So this is the Fuji Chrome. Fuji Simulation Chrome and this is the Acros. Now the reason why I chose RAW plus JPEG is because for the JPEG one you can do it in camera and you know you don't have to muck around what you see out of the what you get um, straight out of camera is your Fuji film simulation there and then but, but the other way and it's probably quicker um, and not as much fun is if you shoot in you, you take the raw file and you put it in workspace and then in workspace you can change the settings you get all your photos and then you highlight them all and then you can uh, apply the chrome now I won't, I won't show you how to do that if you check out Rob Trek's video in the description he actually shows you how to do a Kodachrome color one which is the same principle so um, all you got to do is pick your selections over here of what you want picture mode uh, muted uh, etc and then muck around here with all the settings graduation whatever and then save that and you just check out Rob's video and you'll see how he did it